What is the best documentation available for Linux? Well, that is an easy question to answer. It's the Arch Wiki. The Arch Wiki is fantastic. It is by far the best source of information on Linux that there is. There is one problem, though, with the Arch Wiki. You have to be connected to the internet to use it. Don't fret, though. What you can do is you can download an offline copy of the Arch Wiki to your local machine. That way, it's always available to you, whether you're connected to the internet or not. Let me switch to my desktop here and I'm going to open up a terminal and let me zoom in so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here. Now in the standard Arch repositories, there are two packages that you are going to find immensely useful if you are a big Arch Wiki user. And the first one you want to install is the actual documentation itself. So what you need to do is sudo pacman dash capital S Arch dash Wiki dash Docs, and this is the Arch Wiki downloaded. That's the the HTML pages. You're just downloading it to your local machine. Just go ahead and install that. I've actually already got it installed, but there's no reason why I couldn't just reinstall it. Anyway, and it's a very quick install. Now, where does it actually store this? Well, it stores it in slash user slash share slash doc slash Arch dash Wiki. If I cd into that directory and do an ls, you will see I've got two directories here, HTML and text. Let me cd into the HTML directory and do an ls. And you see I have a bunch of directories here. Let me scroll with the mouse wheel here. You see we've got the various languages that the wiki is available in. Obviously, I'm going to want the English version, so I'm going to cd into en and do an ls and there are all the english html pages it's some i, I want to say it's a couple of thousand pages uh if, let me see if i can actually do a ls dash a let's get a count so if i do wc dash l and it's yeah 2336 pages if you wanted to read one of these particular pages what you would do is you would open up a web browser such as firefox and then the name of a page maybe you wanted to read that zfs.html page well, if i do zfs.html here it's going to open up firefox to the zfs page and this is not connected to the internet you see there's no images loading or anything like that this is just from the local machine here and of course, any web browser would work uh, if you wanted something more minimal. If you happen to have something like, I don't know, surf on the system like I do. I mean, I could open up surf and of course I'd have to zoom in. Surf's default font is very small, but this is the surf browser. And if I clicked on something, say I wanted to read about kernel parameters, you know, it connects to the kernel parameters page here that's stored locally on the machine. Now, of course, if you click on like some external URLs, because sometimes they will link to some external websites, you know, like GitHub pages or official software sites or something, you know, you would have to be connected to the internet to view those, but just wiki pages themselves, you're fine because you've got all those pages stored locally here in user share doc arch wiki. Now that is pretty cool, but how useful is that that you have to, you know, navigate into that user share doc arch wiki directory and then manually you got to type the web browser you want to use and the name of the HTML document that you want to view. That's not, you know, that user friendly, right? Some of you guys are going to want something a little easier to use, something more interactive too. So what you can do is also in the Arch repositories, you can do a sudo pacman dash capital S arch dash wiki dash light L I T E arch dash wiki dash light and install that package. I've already got it on the system, but I'll reinstall and arch wiki light. What this does is it searches the arch wiki docs that are already on the system, but it does it here in the terminal and you use this command wiki dash search and then whatever string you want to search for. So if I wanted to search for xmonad and I hit enter, uh, it gives me this kind of in curses menu here, this uh, interactive menu, and it's asking what exactly am I looking for in the Arch Wiki? And it gives me some of the search results. The Xmonad page, there's a page for dot files, there's a page for keyboard shortcuts, there's a page for Xmobar, there's a page for window manager, etc. A comparison of tiling window managers. But say the very first result is Xmonad, that's the one I was looking for, I just hit OK. 
then I get the Xmonad Arch Wiki page just as plain text here in the terminal. And if I just, you know, page down, you know, I could read it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what they're using for this. It may be using less. If I hit Q to quit, you know, we will quit out of that. So pretty easy to use. You just wiki dash search and then the, the name of the term you want to search for, well, search for extend for and you know, right away I get the page I'm wanting and again I've got the documentation right here. So that is a, a little bit of the ArchWiki offline documentation. It's basically just downloading the, the ArchWiki, all the HTML documents locally to your host machine. That way you don't even need to be connected. You don't even need to really open a web browser if you use the ArchWiki Lite terminal application. Before I go, I want to thank a few special people. I need to thank Michael, Mitchell, Chris, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Lambda, LibreQuest, Omri, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys, my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. They are the producers of this episode. I also want to thank all of these fine ladies and gentlemen. These are all my supporters over on Patreon. Without each and every one of those ladies and gentlemen, the show wouldn't be possible. The channel wouldn't be possible. If you'd like to support my work, consider doing so. You'll find DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.